for most of the year, move your long runs to midweek. I love I love doing this. If you move your long runs to midweek, which is again I'm talking about the transaction costs. Um, you're gonna get you get up early, you get your shoes, you get your fuel belt all fueled up or whatever. You can go run. You can usually find two hours in the morning or two hours in the evening, and it's, and then that's a big day of training. You just had like a really like a key key day of training, and you did it in two hours. Make that midweek, and then you can use your Saturdays and Sundays for being like for going for getting in real volume, either long runs or what, or a big day with like all three sports. On the other hand, if you a lot of people like to make their long run Sunday, they get done. To 11 o'clock, you could be training from 11:30 to you know, seven at night, and instead you're not because you had your big day. Um, I love, so I like to move my long runs to midweek, and that way it gives me two days to go big on the weekends. Um, and that was a real trick when I was training uh, for Ironman. I'm still working.